Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Trillion. Um, where we left off, uh, Beelzebul, uh, Beelzebulos, uh, didn't end well when he battled against Trillion. Um, we got some, I think, revived or something? Like that. How did I get here? Wait! God of Destruction! Um... A lot of things popped off. The pain. That's right. I was pierced by the god of destruction. I should be dead. Finally awake, are you? Who are you? Just remain still for a moment. The pain should subside shortly. You! What are you doing here? Who let you into my room? The nerve of you to say such a thing to your savior. Savior? I wonder if the memory didn't set well. What in the underworld are you talking about? Let's put things in order, shall we? First, you died during battle. Then, you were revived. You were revived to fight against the nightmare seeking to consume this world. <laughs> so you're the voice I heard. Looks like your memory is coming back. Who are you? The name's Faust. Faust. And the executor to your soul contract. In accordance to the contract, you offered your soul, in place of life and power. I used the power of the soul grimoire to bring you back to life. Soul contract? Soul grimoire? I recall you telling me that you would help me defeat it. Why yes. In exchange, I'll take your soul. Once it has been defeated. Don't you forget. Of course I won't. Well now. It seems as if I was uncivil to you back there. Forgive my rude behavior, Earl. I am the third of the great overlords ruling the underworld, Ziabalos. I thank you, Faust, for saving my life. You are mighty gullible, aren't you, great overlord? What? I don't think it's time to thank me yet. In fact, being alive may not be the best thing for you. I have no regret. I will use any means necessary to defeat that monster. Once my desire has been met, you're free to do what you want with my soul. I see. Well... This makes things much easier. Now then, I don't have the time to prattle any longer. Come with me to the... <laughs> what? I can barely move! Why, of course. Look. Wait. Is this... Me? Yes. It's your body with your soul in it. Be careful. You can't really move like you did before. What? What happened to me? What do you mean by that? By the time I got to you, your body was pretty much out of commission. It may not look great, but it is stitched together well enough. I'm mind praising myself for it. <laughs> Stop joking! I'm like a Frankenstein. Type of deal, I guess. Am I supposed to defeat the god of destruction in this zombie like body? How am I supposed to fight like this? How am I going to avenge the death of everyone? My brother! Answer me! Give it up. You can't fight him. Like I said before, I needed a shameless soul. 
you need to live on in shame in that body of yours to defeat it. In exchange, I'll lend you power. That's why I'll provide to you. What meaning is there coming back to life with no power? What are you thinking? Reviving me like this? Don't be mistaken. I just need your soul. My soul? I don't mind you wallowing in despair, but just make sure you understand that you're not powerless, as long as you're alive. Death ends everything. But you're alive. You chose to live through contract. <sighs> chose to live. I offered my very soul. I offered her my very flesh and soul to defeat it. That's what I agreed to. To face it, you will need not only the magic I'm deep within you, but also a soul seeking to live no matter what the cost. I need you, so as for me to fulfill my desire too. Your desire? What are you... It's your brother! Whoa, 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 whoa. Elma! Cerberus! Thank goodness you're awake! Aww. But I would never <laughs> be able to speak with you again, dear brother! <laughs> Elma, I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble. <laughs> Back in such a despicable state like this. Please, don't say any more. I'm just happy to know that you've awoken from your sleep. Elma. Oh. Looks like I caused trouble for you as well, Sobers. <gasps> what? You saw my battle against the God of Destruction? I thought I told you to return to the castle. Please don't scold Cerberus, dear brother. He was worried about you and couldn't leave you behind. He did return to us after seeing what happened. Ah. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I was thrown back to the castle in a ball of fire by the god of destruction. Of my final strike against it. I see. The ball of fire was most likely my soul that Faust saved. Which is why I feel now. Elma, did anything happen to the underworld while. It's scary. Is that true? But when the soldiers tried to approach it, they all died. Damn it! The miasma! It isn't dead. It's just sleeping. The overlords are in the court and planning what to do now. Perfect. Take me to the court. I need to speak with these so-called overlords, too. Very well. Speaking of, who is this person, dear brother? She stayed beside you the entire time. I wanted to thank her properly. She was beside you. Soul control is a delicate process. I just couldn't leave you during the procedure. I see. Well, it seems I need to thank you for all you've done. I didn't do anything in particular. All I did was control your soul. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, and young girl, I'm sorry. But can we save the formality? We're going to have to introduce ourselves at the court anyway. All right. 
Then I guess I can thank you later. Well then, let's head to the court. <laughs> Dear brother, let's hold hands, shall we? I'm sorry, Alma. Please, don't apologize. I just want to hold hands with you. I won't get in your way, so please, let me stay beside you just a little longer. Of course not. Aww. Thank you, dear brother. Great overlord. You should really do something about that pathetic look on your face before going hey. to court. Or would you prefer to rest longer? It is true that your body isn't fully ready yet. No. The sooner we act, the better. Let's go and show them my pathetic form. My apologies for keeping you all waiting. I have returned. G great overlord! <laughs> Everyone! Our lord has returned! <laughs> Stop crying, Baphomet. It is unbecoming. I offer my thanks to the overlords for coming. Huh. You're late. There they all are. I'm so glad you're safe, great overlord. <sighs> Welcome back, Zabo Jin. Whoa, long time no see. Mammon. The yellow one. Uh, Propel. Oh my. You've taken a Ash media for the wild, haven't you? <laughs> As you can see, I came back in this pathetic form. But I need your help in defeating the god of destruction. Your form still looks good to me, great overlord. Oh. Thank you, Lavia. Levy is digging me. I, I, I like it. I like Are it. you stupid or something? That's no excuse for losing an army of over 10,000. Well, Zebo Chin is safe, so all is good. Zebo Chin. I like, I like her. I like Figor. Or Fe Fegor. Fegor. The one who should be condemned is that god of destruction. How dare it harm our great overlord? Deserves to die a million fold. I'll slice it into pieces until nothing is left. Okay, we can leave it all to Levy time then. What a relief. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I like her. I like her. than my cute little Zayabalos. I wonder how it will scream if I punish it a little. <sighs> Just thinking about it is intoxicating. 
She kind of scares me. Aw, oh, Propel. Uh, Tag group of overlords. I must say, our great overlord's sister, Lady Fagor's closed eyes, truly takes after him. Okay, so that's one of our sisters. It's, I guess. You know, after some serious thought, Lady, I've come to realize you're really stupid, aren't you? <laughs> stupid in love. Let's see. Maybe I'll gouge its eyes out first. She scares me a little. Oh, I can't wait. Silence, everyone. Silence. This is the very reason why you all couldn't make it in time to assist our great overlord in his hour of need. Great overlord. It looks like you've got first class talent here. There's nothing to worry about. I assure you that they're all quite formidable. So, great overlord. Introducing that girl that's next to you. Who is she? Ah, uh, yes. Introductions are in order. The girl next to the great overlord? You only noticed now? You really need to get your eyes checked, Levia. She's my special guest. Her name is. She's my special Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, oh. she's gonna lose it. I'm surprised you've got the gall to bring a girl along despite taking a beat. Well, wait, I'm sensing there's a misunderstanding. <sighs> huh? What? Zabel Chin's wife? Why? You, you mean that freaky thing that sucks money from its prey? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, listen to me for a second. Her name is Faust. She saved me by bringing my soul back from the brink of death after my loss against the God of Destruction. So, so you're the one who brought back our great overlord. Why, yes. I'm also someone who knows how to defeat it. <laughs> so you want us to thank you or something? No one here needs to be taught how to do things. Especially by some strange girl like you. That's right. We'll get this over with in a jiffy. I'm sorry to tell you this, but there are two things you all need to understand. First, you're all weak. Second, what you're facing is beyond the concept of formidable. So, you're telling us that we can't defeat it? Exactly. What the? Are you trying to make fun of us? No. Not at all. But you all need to remember that your master, the Great Overlord, died once fighting against it. <clears throat> Look at the Great Overlord. Look at what he's become. Anyone weaker getting close to it will lose their life. The miasma in bits. It's quite difficult to bear, even for those with the power of the Overlord. Wait, so we can't even get close to it? Great Overlord, just because you lost, that's no reason to make such pathetic excuses. Then how would you explain the death of Astaroth? If he were still around, he would have returned bearing news for us. Ruche, you should honor your father's sacrifice. <laughs> okay, so that's his daughter. Uh, I agree with what he said. The only one in the underworld who can bear the miasma elements is probably only the great overlord himself. But my body is. 
Yes. Your body is merely a receptacle for your soul. So this is where this ring comes in. Houses a fragment of the great overlord's soul. My soul? To don the ring channel the power of the great overlord's soul. In other words, it allows those who wear it to get through the miasma. Well then, the rest is simple. We just have to wear the ring and kick its butt. Unfortunately, this is the only ring available. With how weak the Great Overlord was, this was all I could craft. So then we can only fight it one at a time? Yes. So this is how they, uh, because they do say that you, you have to choose an Overlord that's going to go in. By the way, I heard that it stopped advancing at the gate. But, <sighs> is that true? Indeed! But if only we could defeat it during this time! No, don't think of attacking it. The miasma it emits while sleeping is much stronger than when it's awake. It seems to emit it more powerfully as an act of protecting itself from others while it is sleeping. Even with the Ring of the Tyrant, going near it would spell doom. Why none of the soldiers have returned from their scouting missions. We still have a chance. It's sleeping from the damage it took from the final blow the Great Overlord inflicted. I can analyze and determine when it will awaken. So we'll attack when the timing is right. You can do that? Why, yes. In the meanwhile, you determine who is going to be fighting it. The candidates so chosen will wear the Ring of the Tyrant and train their magic and physical prowess with the Great Overlord's magic power. And once it awakens, that's when we'll strike. <sighs> Why don't you leave it alone if it's sleeping? Sister, this isn't the time to say such a thing. She's right. This is such nonsense. Maybe it was just hungry because it was sleepy or something. No, it'll eat you when it wakes up. Great Overlord, are you seriously going to believe everything the stranger says? Great Overlord, may I suggest we wait and observe for a while? What? What are you all... What are you all saying? What's the matter, Baffle Chin? I uh, remember Baffle Chin. very well how that monster consumed the underworld before. Even with the power of the first Great Overlord, 
If you leave the God of Destruction alone, it will consume the Underworld into oblivion! God of Destruction? So, that's what it's called here. With how you call it a god, it almost sounds like you're respecting it. <laughs> how absurd. God is whom we, as fallen ones, detest. We simply gave it a name befitting our point of view. I see. But it will destroy more than just the Underworld. It exists to consume all the worlds. It is a mass of a trillion curses which seeks the depths of each world, in order to feed off of the world's core. That's 12 zeros. <laughs> <laughs> That's 12 zeros! Based on the concept of how it is a mass of a trillion curses, it's also known as Trillion. Trillion. So that's its name, though, possibly. How unfortunate, as that name will be the last anyone will hear outside of the underworld when we put it into grave. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Now then, I will choose the candidate to face it. If there are any who would... Wait a minute. You haven't even answered my question yet, Great Overlord! Are you really going to trust her? After hearing what she said, we now know that she's a complete outsider who doesn't even know about our war with God! <sighs> Why would someone who doesn't belong here want to help us? That's... That's because my desire to defeat it is the same as Faust's. Not to mention, she did revive it. It is because of her that I'm still alive. Her power has brought me back so that I can defeat that monster. Do you need any more reason to trust her? Are you gullible or something? You're just being used by her! Even so, I don't care. I've decided that I would resort to anything to avenge the lives we've lost. I can't believe you're taking her seriously. You fool. You don't have to believe in me. Just trust in the Great Overlord's decision to believe in me. If there are any who object like Ruche, Speak now. I will have you removed from candidacy. In any case, if your mind isn't focused, there's no way you'll be able to defeat it. So that thing is sitting around at the gate of hell, right? Well, since Propel and I are the guardians, one of us will take care of it. I mean, it is our fault for leaving the gate unguarded when that thing came. Please, Great Overlord, commission me to deal with it first! I must destroy Trillion with my own hands. I seek vengeance for the harm done to our dear Great Overlord! What about you, Fagor? Ash Media? Fine. Destroy. <laughs> She's so uninterested. I'm in no rush. Time adds layers to sensation. <laughs> Very well. I will select either Mammon, Propel, or Levy. <laughs> Whatever. So, a uh, great overlord, is there any special reward for leaving it? Like maybe some treasures from the castle treasury? As you know, 
The underworld is ruled by the one who has proven themselves to be the greatest. With that said, I am not powerful enough to defeat it. Wait, you're not saying... The throne of the great overlord shall be bestowed upon the one who is victorious. What? Are you serious? Damn. Huh? Now you're offering your throne? That's not fair! That's crazy. No, I've already decided to choose from those three. Lady Ruche, the decision of the Great Overlord stands. Too bad for you, Ruche. Switch places with me, Mammon. <laughs> Jeez, that's saliva though. <laughs> So now we have to choose our overlord. Levia holds the crest of envy, an overlord and a childhood friend of Ziabolus. She usually takes a step back as a subordinate, but when she's alone with Ziabolus, she returns to her actual self. When Ziabolus seems to be having a fun conversation with someone else, she will silently radiate intense hostility towards the other person. Please leave it to me, dear great overlord. Great overlordy, let's make this place a land of candy. Holds the crest of gl gluttony. An overlord and Zeabolus' niece. She excludes a spirit, exudes a spirit of innocence and brightness, unlike her older sister, Roosh. She's been attached to Zeabolus, who always gave her sweets ever since she was little. Mammon holds the crest of greed. An overlord and Zeabolus' cousin. She's a selfish wanderer with a brazen personality. Originally, her role was to oversee the Gate of Hell, but prior to Trillian's attack, she abandoned her post in favor of, of adventuring. I feel like I need to take Mammon. I punch it right with, right in the gut. I'm, I'm gonna go with Mammon. I feel like. Then Mammon, I commission you to destroy Trillian. All right, I'll beat the crap out of that monster in a jiffy. So you all just wait. No, oh, Mammoton sounds so manly. That's quite the statement. I suppose we can look forward to it then. I have nothing to say against the words of greatness from our great overlord. But how vexing it is. If you assign me, I would take care of this faster than mammon. Huh, words coming from a loser. Just give it up and blame your own bad luck. Did you say? Stop it, both of you. This is no time to be quarreling with each other. You don't have to tell me that. 
If you're going to fight ahead of me, you better not let anyone down, you hear, man? What else would you expect? I'll get rid of Trillian in an instant. Not like I have all day, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for letting me handle this great overlord. How peculiar. How can you be so happy fighting Trillian? Hey, if I beat it, I'm the next great overlord. There's no other treasure like it. I'm counting on you. The fate of the underworld is in your hands, Mammon. That will be it for the day. For everything else, notices will be relayed as need. I can't believe your brother is going to relinquish the throne. Alma, you just rest up in your room. I'll be fine. Understood. Come, Cerberus. Are you fine with this? Of course. I'll use every means I have possible to defeat it. That's not what I mean. Are you sure you didn't need to let them know about your contract? I hope you're not forgetting that your soul is mine after you defeat Trillian. You won't come back ever again. There's no need for them to know. It will be defeated, and the new great overlord will lead the underworld. That is how things should be. I see. Well then, I'll promise you that you'll get all the support you need from me. Yes, I'm counting on you, Faust. So that's why he relinquished his throne. Alright, so training. You'll be able to train the overlord during Trillian's slumber. The display on the top left shows the amount of time remaining before Trillian awakens. One cycle represents seven days, and each day passes with each action, such as with training or resting. Use the icon on the bottom of the screen to access each available action. War funds, 10k. Genki, 30 vitamins. Bandages, and large bandage. Alright, so I guess we do some training. Well, right. both of you, as you have turned. to see you both doing well, Brad. <laughs> Did you expect anything less? Excellent. Now then, there's something I need to ask of the two of you. And that is? I want both of you to train the Overlords. Do you mean those spunky ladies of yours? It would be an honor to assist you, Overlords. But if I may, the Overlords are much stronger than both of us. He's right. Us teach them? True. The Overlords hold great power. But in terms of experience, they are far from being battle ready. I want the both of you to hone them. With the experience and skill to the master the agents, being able to use every bit of power will be key in facing the god of destruction, Trillian. Trillian. Yes, that's our end. I want both of you to train everyone and bring victory to the underworld. Ho-ho! For a second there, I thought you were going to send us Holdens out onto the battlefield. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. We're going to start training next time. Um, leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. And I will see you all later.